In this video, we're focusing on sex-linked inheritance. Now, this is different to autosomal inheritance, which we've spoken about in a previous video in our Punnett Square video, because we're talking about traits that are inherited on our sex chromosomes. So remember the fact that we inherit 23 pairs of chromosomes. So pairs because one comes from mum, one comes from dad. So remember, for example, chromosome one, we have two of them. One came from mum, one came from dad. And all the way through for 22 pairs, these are called our autosomal chromosomes. But our last pair of chromosomes are our sex-linked chromosomes. They determine whether we are genetic male or genetic female. Right? So it can either be an XY, and if it is an XY, we are a genetic male. It can be XX. If it is XX, it means we are a genetic female. Now remember, there's two. So that means one comes from mum, one comes from dad, for example. All right? So just remember that point. So what we're focusing on today are traits that are inherited on these chromosomes. And the reason why we need to do it separately is because what we find is that the X chromosome is a lot bigger than the Y chromosome. And because of that fact, the X chromosome contains way more genes, therefore way more traits than the Y chromosome. And so the inheritance pattern is slightly different. And because genetic males are XY and genetic females are XX, the inheritance patterns work differently. We can still use a Punnett square, so that's great. And we still use the terms dominant and recessive inheritance. So you need to understand that. What does that mean? Remember, dominant inheritance means you only need a single copy. So it only needs to sit on one chromosome in order for you to manifest the trait, also known as the phenotype. Right? Recessive inheritance means you need two copies of that gene in order to manifest that trait or have that phenotype. That means you need to get it on both copies of the chromosomes. That's recessive. So we can still use those terms. So let's think about it like this. Here's our Punnett square. Here's the genetic male, XY. Here's the genetic female, female, XX. Now, if they want to have offspring, what's the likelihood of them having a genetic male and a genetic female offspring? XX, XX, XY, XY. It's 50-50. There's a 50% chance female offspring, 50% chance male offspring, right? This is how the whole process works. But we're gonna talk about certain traits inherited on that X chromosome. Let's talk about diseases like haemophilia, haemophilia where you get cut, can't stop bleeding. This is a recessive trait, right, on the X chromosome. So let's just say mum is a carrier for haemophilia. So the way I'm gonna denote that is that on, she's a carrier, so it means that she only has one of her X chromosomes contains the, let's just say, dodgy gene for haemophilia, and it's sitting here, right? Recessive. So is mum manifesting the disease? No, because mum would need to have two of those copies to manifest the disease. So she's heterozygous, that means only one copy, and she's a carrier for the disease, not manifesting it. So what now? is the likelihood of mum passing this haemophilia-based gene off to her offspring. Okay, here we go. So that one there, that one there, that's the same, that's the same. So what we can see is that this genetic female is also a carrier for haemophilia. This genetic male is carrying that as well, but look, there's no other X chromosome for males. It's just XY. So in actual fact, when it comes to males inheriting an X-linked disease, they only need one copy to manifest the disease or disorder, right? So that means this male will have haemophilia, but this female will not. This female will be a carrier. Does that make sense? So what if mum, let's just say mum, did have haemophilia, right? Because it's recessively inherited, she needs both copies and she does. What's the likelihood of the offspring having the disease or disorder? Well, we've got that one done. Here we go. And here we go. What it means is if mum has haemophilia, both or any females, statistically the females 
will not have haemophilia, they'll be carriers for it, but every single male will have haemophilia. 100% chance that the males will have haemophilia if the mother has haemophilia. Does that make sense? This is how you need to think about X-linked inheritance, okay? Because of the way that X and Y chromosomes are inherited. So hopefully that makes sense, and this is sex-linked inheritance.